Hey Google, stop. Oh my gosh, it actually worked. I forgot my green juice, wait right there. I have been drinking this green supplement, green supplemental powder. I've been drinking this green powder because it makes me feel health. Hi and welcome back to my, why do I, why is that like the thing? Why is that? Okay, action. Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name's Courtney, you can call me Quartz. And this is really kind of just like a life update video because there's a bunch of things going on. First things first, I just turned 27. Happy birthday to me, thank you. And 101 on the clock, okay. However, days before my 27th birthday, I was released from my job, which I feel like I talk a lot about on this channel, how many times I quit and start jobs slash get fired from them. It's okay, it's fine. I was trying to leave the job anyway, and I think they knew that. So they pretty much just gave me the boot, and that's like all that I'll really say on that because it's pretty irrelevant to the grand scheme of things. But it was funny how it worked out because essentially I was trying to get my butt on birth control. I was also trying to go to the dentist and many other things that you use corporate benefit for, like massages and stuff, I don't know. So I was trying to get my butt on birth control and this was like probably a week before my birthday, um, mid-July. I had an appointment with a doctor and we were gonna talk about my best options for birth control and all that over the phone because that's how doctors do appointments these days. We're kind of on the same page, so I was like, cool, let, like, let me know and I'll book it. And she's like, cool, I'll have a nurse call you and book in your appointment to get your birth control. I went with a birth control implant called Nexplanon. I can make a whole separate video on that. Actually, I think I might. I've been doing content planning today, so bear with me. It requires you to go into like a clinic and get it inserted into your arm. Technology. So I'm like, okay, cool, let me know and we'll set up a date. The nurse calls me like immediately after our phone appointment and she's like, hey, we have an appointment for tomorrow. Do you wanna come in? And I was like, okay, I gotta use up my benefits before I leave this fucking job. I went in the next day, was able to use my benefits, but literally the next day, I was pulled into a meeting with HR and then the rest is history. I felt really aligned when that happened. I was like, yo, like the universe, God, whatever you want to call it. The universe was like, babes, you should get on this fucking birth control because you're about to get the boot. I like to think that everything's aligned. I felt aligned. Um, yesterday I did have a panic attack though because it has been almost three weeks since I have been working. That means money. But I'm also trying to redefine my relationship with money. So after being let go, I, I was celebrating because it was just days before my birthday and I was like, sweet vacation. <laughs> I get to enjoy my birthday week. No stress, no worrying about taking time off, no yada yada, no. No bullshit. But it just so happens, the day that I got fired, I also got hired. I was hired for a part-time, very similar merchandising gig. And um, I'm not very excited about it. Anyways, as you guys know, I've been trying to get my little foot in the film industry door and I've had a couple jobs come to me and I haven't been able to take them because of other prior commitments. For example, I'm taking a film class right now and I'm very hyped on it. It's only once a week though. And it's been like a huge point of inspiration for me. So I'll link, I'll link the, where I'm taking the class. It's an all female filmmaking class um, taught by one of my old mentors. So it's very good, you can trust me. But it's really lit like a fire in my tummy to get back on set and to work in film and to learn because I just want to do it so badly. But I also do not really feel like working 12 to 16 hours a day. There's a lot of sacrifices that come with working in film. And like, part of me is like, yes, do it. I think I will, but also, realize what you're sacrificing. Like you need to go in realizing what you're giving up. You're giving up so much, but you're chasing the dream. Basically, I've just spent the last couple of weeks trying to get my little ducks in a row. I just started this job and I'm looking for film work. I'm also trying to prioritize content because I love making content. And like, I go to my own YouTube channel and I'm like, I'm inspiring. <laughs> I am cool, what the heck? Why do I not have more subscribers? No, in all honesty, I look at it and I just see so much growth in myself as a person and I get inspired by that. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I wanna keep making stuff. I'm also doing little mini vlogs daily on my TikTok for August. So if you wanna like catch up with me there, that's where I'll be. Then mate, another reason why I'm like, oh, I can't jump into film work right now is because I'm going home in August to meet my baby niece. I'm going to meet my niece. She's already like a month old and I have not met her. So I'm very eager to go home and see her, but it's just one more thing that I'm like, hmm, should be working. 
should be working. Trying not to stress about it, basically, is what my whole life has been the last few weeks. It's hard being a starving artist, you know? But um, this is part of the fun. <laughs> I'd still rather be doing this than working a nine to five, so. I'm embracing change. So that's my offer to you. Embrace the changes, babes, because you know what they say. One door closes, another one opens. You gotta let go to make room for the new, you know? Anyways, <laughs> yeah, I just wanted this to be a really brief like life update video where I've been, like I hate it when I go a couple weeks without posting. I know that nobody here cares, but I care and that's all that matters. <laughs> Thank you for coming back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. Lots of juicy content coming soon. Check out my TikTok, check out my Instagram. I styled this dress for my birthday on my Instagram, so you should check that out. And I can't wait to see you guys with some proper planned content very soon. Uh, I'm the worst, okay. Thanks for watching, bye. <laughs>